you know, I'll tell you something. You know, 900 million Chinamen couldn't give a damn. They couldn't care less you know, about this press conference. But I love basketball. I'm a dolphin, and I just love it. You know, sometimes a uh, world doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, except on the basketball court. And that's good enough for me. Coach? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got to ask this question or I wouldn't be doing my job. Would you care to comment on the rumor that you uh, arranged for an automobile to be purchased for Neon Badeau? You know, you know, Ed, you just got to get your mind out of the gutter. You know, you, you just got to start thinking straight. I mean, it's right there in front of you. For Christ's sake, it wasn't an automobile. I mean, it was a fully loaded Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> the damn car had everything. It, it had everything, didn't it, Happy? I mean, that car was fully loaded, wasn't it? No, no, Coach, it was a nuclear surfboard, remember? <laughs> you know, and the damn thing of it is, Ed, is, he, you know, Neon, he didn't want it. He, he didn't want the car. He didn't want to, he didn't ask for anything, but, you know, he wasn't for sale. But we got it for him anyway. I mean, and I, I think personally that it would have been a hell of a deal, a, a good price. I mean, uh, I mean, what did Neon do tonight? Does anybody know how many boards did Neon have tonight? Thirteen. Thirteen? Thirteen boards? Well, there you are. It would have been a hell of a deal. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what Neon would have done if we had tried to give him a Ferrari? I mean, for Christ's sake, he might have scored 40 or 50 points. I mean, who knows? Who knows what he would have done for a Ferrari? Now, you know, Neon, he, he, he didn't take anything. He didn't want anything. But some of the others did. Didn't they, Happy? Weren't there some of the other kids? What would we give them? What, cars? Tractors? Give a kid a tractor? Another kid would give a house? Didn't we give him a house? You know, bags of cash. I don't know what we gave these kids. You know, they asked for things. We gave it to them. I mean, you guys asked me to win, and I gave that to you. Right? And the alumni are all jerking off over this win, which is the only time the alumni ever jerk off, right? Is when we win. Because this ain't about education. It ain't much about winning, and it sure as hell ain't much about basketball. It's about money. Just goddamn money. That's what it's about, Ed. And I bought into it. I bought into it big time. I'm a big part of the problem. Yeah. Stick a fork in this creep, because he's done. He's dead meat. You're finished. You will never coach in America again. You got that? Why don't you try Bulgaria? Here they're looking for wimps like you. Winders! No, you goddammit! Get your hands off me! I can walk! Loser! You lost three years in a row! Give me everything you wanted, you was happy, heading for the cash machine. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get himself a middle linebacker. That guy's got the best player's money can buy! The best player's money can buy! You know, I'll tell you something else. You know, someplace, someplace in America right now, there's some 10-year-old kid. He's out there on that playground. And he's playing. He's dribbling between his legs. He's going left. He's going right. He's already above the rim. He's stuffing it home. And you know what's going to happen to this kid? Five minutes from now, he's going to be surrounded by agents and corporate sponsors and coaches. I mean, people like me just drooling over this kid because he holds our future employment in his hands. I mean, that's why we made this game. That's what we've done. You know, the best coaching job I ever did, it wasn't tonight. It was last season. You know, when we were 14 and 15, we had a losing season. But goddammit, those kids, they gave me their heart. 
They gave me everything they had. They played up to the maximum of their ability. They gave it everything. And you know, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough for me. It wasn't good enough for you. It wasn't good enough for anybody. That's pathetic. I mean, it's really pathetic. I've become what I despise. Cheated my profession. Cheated myself. I cheated basketball. There's two words I didn't think could ever come out of my mouth. I didn't think I'd ever be able to say. I quit. <laughs>